Hello, it's Alicia Jones from Alicia Jones Healthy Living. And since 2006, I've helped transform the health and lives of women over 50 through fitness and weight loss strategies. And it's menopause month, at least at the time of this video, it's menopause month. And I know that there are a lot of symptoms, brain fog, um, hot flashes, no sleep is one of the biggest, biggest symptoms. But all of this ends up leading into another huge symptom that I often get asked about quite a lot. And it is why is weight gain faster during menopause? Or I've gained all this weight during menopause that I never had before. I'm eating exactly the same and now I'm gaining all this weight and it's especially around the tummy. So this is what we're going to talk about today because this is something that you've asked me to help you with. We're going to begin by talking about why this ends up happening, why there's an acceleration of weight gain during menopause, even post menopause, there's an acceleration of weight gain for many. And uh, after you understand why, we're going to then talk about what ends up happening. You're going to really understand why um, doing some of those old tactics might not work anymore, what you can do instead. And I'm going to give you two solutions that you can start doing right away. How's that sound? Sound good? Okay, let's get started. So there are three big reasons why um, weight gain becomes faster during menopause and especially around the belly. The first one I am sure you already know, it's hormone shifts, right? Estrogen levels drop. And so instead of storing fat in your hips, you end up storing the fat in your belly instead. So that weight tends to shift up, the pants feel a lot tighter, but it's more than that. So you end up gaining more weight because your body is trying to deal with these lower estrogen levels. And one way of doing that is trying to increase the amount of estrogen you have in your body. Fat tissue secretes estrogen. And so your body is trying to produce ways to get more estrogen and balance out your body. And so you end up gaining more weight due to this drop in estrogen. And not to mention just the drop in estrogen, there are a cascade of other hormones that shift and really, really make it harder to lose weight or to sustain a healthy weight and stop that faster weight gain that happens during menopause. Another big reason that um, many tend to see a greater increase or a faster increase in weight gain during menopause is because it may have been a lot of years that you haven't been doing much, or maybe you have, maybe you've been running or walking, or you, you haven't been quite a hundred percent consistent with exercise with weight training specifically and lean mass. It declines with age for every decade after adult life. And according to a lot of the statistics I read, it begins at 20, 20 is adult life. Did you know we were all adults at 20 <laughs> by every decade after the age of 20, you lose lean muscle. So if you have not been consistently doing something to enhance lean muscle, to maintain lean muscle, then you have this extended long period where lean muscle has slowly started to decline. And by the time you've hit menopause, that decline in lean muscle has slowed down your metabolic rate. So we have this shift in hormones that creates more accumulation of fat, especially around the waist. But at the same time, you don't have this mechanism to accelerate your metabolic rate and help mitigate some of that increase in fat because you've lost the lean muscle. So that's reason number two, the hormones drop and then there isn't that lean muscle. It's an accumulation effect. And lastly, while it doesn't have to do with menopause directly, usually during menopause, it's one of the busiest times of your life. But here's the thing, you might be not sleeping well, you might have had the worst night's sleep ever, and you're still busy, you still have to get up, you still have to do all of the things that that busy lifestyle it demands of you that you have these responsibilities that you have to take care of. You don't just get to sleep in and stay asleep because you didn't sleep well the night before. 
So what ends up happening is because life is busy, one, you increase another hormone, your cortisol levels, your stress hormone ends up getting disrupted. So that feeds in once again to those hormone shifts that have changed, but also at the same time, you're not sleeping well. So you're, what happens when you don't sleep well is you're more prone to insulin resistance, which then accumulates more fat, especially around the belly, and this cycle starts again. So these are the three main reasons why weight gain becomes faster or appears faster during menopause. So what are you gonna do about it? Usually the big misconception is, okay, I'm gonna start moving more. I'm gonna move as much as I can and I'm gonna eat less and it's really going to work with me. And maybe that did work. Maybe it worked in your 20s or your 30s. But the thing is, is that when you're going through hormone shifts, that won't work anymore. Because if you eat too little, you can actually disrupt more hormones. If you do a lot of cardio, you're then once again disrupting cortisol levels, which are your stress hormone levels and your fatigue levels. And a lot of times people will do this form of exercise. For example, long bouts of cardio and eating less. They'll do that on very little sleep and they think to themselves, I have to push through. I have to do this because I just don't feel like myself again and I want to feel good again. But the thing is, is that it is a huge misconception to do more and more cardio, especially when you haven't been sleeping. It's going to disrupt your hormones and it's going to cause more weight gain. So what can you do instead? Okay, so there are two big things that you can focus on instead of doing more and eating less. The first thing is Stop focusing on the quantity that you're eating. Instead, focus in on the quality of your macronutrients. We're specifically talking about proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Fats, for example, they the amount that you eat and the type you eat can either balance hormones or disrupt your hormones. So you want to be able to see how much fat you're getting in and what those sources are coming from. Protein enhances lean muscle growth and you want that lean muscle mass. Remember that is what is going to help you rev up your metabolism, stop fast weight gains during menopause, but at the same time, it's gonna help you lose weight in the future and be more toned and strong and feel good again. So you need to make sure your protein is good. And third, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates actually help mitigate stress. So you don't want to eliminate carbohydrates. You want to have some carbohydrates that are gonna help balance your cortisol levels and help you balance out hormones and feel your strongest and most energized. The second thing you wanna do is don't even worry about your cardio. If going for long walks makes you feel good, reduces stress, and makes you feel like you're doing something towards your goals, great if you have all the time in the world. But especially if you're short on time, you want to focus in on what the quality of your workout is. You need to start building the lean mass that's going to help offset the weight gain that's occurred from menopause by accelerating your fat loss potential, burn more fat even at rest by having lean muscle. So you're gonna to want to add in a weight training routine. Another thing I like about weight training that is often overlooked is you can do a weight training program with rest periods in between at nighttime and you're still going to sleep well at night. If you did cardio just before bed, you end up enhancing cortisol levels. You don't sleep well. And if that's a problem you already have, then this is just, you're just feeding into that and it's an even greater problem. So you need to make sure that you're doing something that starts to relax you at night, enhance melatonin and suppress the cortisol so you can sleep better at night, which is then gonna help you release the fat. It's gonna help you feel more rested, reduce brain fog and feel good again. So that is what I suggest. Focus in on your macronutrients and your quality weight training workout instead. If you don't know where to start, then um, I am opening the doors to my signature program, Over 50 Fit and Fabulous, which discusses balancing hormones, how to exercise and eat for your age and stage of life. I've placed the link inside of the description. I hope you will join us. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye.